Welcome back, everybody, to Out of Bed. I'm Mia Malkova, and I'm here with Gabby Epstein. And I just every time, like it's like a reflex. Like what was that? Just like, like, like a millennial. Hey, like, <laughs> like a piece. Like, <laughs> like, like, I just realized as I did that, and I was like, "Have I done that every intro?" I hope not. No <laughs> 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 Sorry, please. You're doing such a good job too. Actually, I'm glad you interrupted me because I didn't know where I was going to go with that. Something that I know you want to know a little bit about, and I haven't spoken too much about it, especially on a podcast, is um, the Blackberry Castle. Yeah. We were talking a little bit last week and you had to go because your Uber was here. You bought a castle. Yes. You just bought a castle. A castle. Have you heard of it? No. Okay. Okay. So I'll start from the beginning. (laughs) <laughs> I, just, I don't know how this happened like not once you know those those memes or tiktoks it's like if i win the lottery you what? won't know but there'll be signs yeah. <laughs> I, I have never heard of anyone buying a castle or even thinking about buying a castle it's like how did this whole thing happen um i pretty much felt like i won the, the lottery because it was at the beginning of covid and OnlyFans really took off, Mm -hmm. like for everybody. (laughs) It wasn't just for me. Um, And suddenly, like I had always made a bit of money, like shooting in the adult industry, and I was I was fooling around with OnlyFans for a bit before that, but never anything like this. This Mm -hmm. is where like it all. Honestly, that was like the turning point of where my life actually changed. Um, And (laughs) and. I was looking to purchase a home. To the invest f- in a... Into, you know. To invest, yes. Yeah. So the first... First the, home buyer's loan. There, know, there it is. Castle. Okay, there it is. That's the Blackberry Castle. And as you can tell, it's not an actual castle. Like, I don't remember how old it actually was. I think it was fairly new, maybe built in the early 2000s. Um, but it was something like 13,000 square feet. It's a castle. Yes, yes. It was stylized. It's a ca- She's like, it's not really. It's a fucking castle. I mean, yes, yes, yes. It, I mean, or it's it, it's a mansion stylized after a castle. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> I don't know what sounds better. Can, uh, worse, look but... at the library. That That's the largest working clock in Oregon. <laughs> <laughs> and it, apparently, I was told this by the previous owners, but apparently, Iviche, if I say his name right, oh God. Avici? Avici. What's she Avice? That was like ceviche or ceviche. I, I, I ordered was, a fucking I was rest- going for ceviche. Well, you ordered um, a restaurant. Um, Iviche. No! <laughs> Avici. Avici. <laughs> I'm so genuine and concerned I'm about so this. sorry. Ibichi. Apparently he Ibichi. wrote... Uh, apparently. Um, now I'm confused. Just go with it. <laughs> <laughs> apparently he had rented out the castle um, <laughs> and this was where he wrote his final album. Wow. Yes. And apparently it was like in, in the library. Um, and... I mean, I would like you to take a look at a little bit more. It had an indoor garden. You see me there because I, I honestly shot all through. I was a little fat. Let's not look it up. <laughs> or we can. I was a little fat there. Um, like, great. You think? Yeah, your mom. No, no. You guys are being nice. Did you? Oh, or? you guys are yeah. being nice. I was actually shocked during that time that I was still making so much money because I did not feel good. Um, it had a, it had a theater, an indoor theater wait, room. Wait, I had an indoor what? Theater room. Okay. See, did you say theater? You're making fun of me too. I got I I get told I say it wrong. What the hell is going on? <laughs> I don't know. I pronounce things strange. Am I saying theater? You said theater. Yeah, theater. That's not how you say the word theater. 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 Oh, we're gonna revisit this because I just. <laughs> <laughs> um, there's the oh, indoor sick. theater. That's amazing. Um, then there's a massive gym with a rock climbing wall. What did your marquee say? You have a rock climbing wall in your house? There was a rock climbing wall in the house. Mm-hmm. And then there was an oh, indoor shit, garden right you. there to the left of it. And then I'd like you to see what it looks like go down, what it looked like at night lit up out from outside. It was it was like um it was like an adult Disneyland. 
And it was just, uh, it was really fun. It was really gaudy. Very gaudy, which is surprisingly... The best kind of gaudy. Are you yeah. I would wear a robe around all all day, all night if I lived here. I did. Like one of the clip up ones that like clip here. Yeah. That like trail behind me. Yep. Yep. I did. I I, I would be unbearable if I lived here. Oh, that's beautiful. Thank you. It was on five acres. It was uh, in Forest Park, right outside of Portland or in uh, technically in Portland. Um, so it's just like a really beautiful time, but pretty much it's like a $4 million castle. And it was a seller carry loan. So I couldn't actually get the loan from any of the, uh, I guess the banks and the owner who was really just trying to get rid of it. And it was a famous castle because it was so hard to get rid of. No one to buy it? it well, yeah, because one, it's in Oregon. It's a multi-million dollar property and it's not really a family home. It's very specialized. So there was just, it just not really much of a market for it. And then obviously I come along and I wanted to really, <laughs> I wanted to turn it into a shoot location and some sort of fun party house. You um, hate people and parties. Huh? You hate people and parties. Exactly. <laughs> I know. Wait, Mia, how come you couldn't get loans from the bank? Is it, was it like boogie nights and you were Don Cheadle where they won't give him a loan? <laughs> That's literally what I'm wondering. <laughs> no, because I'm I'm very careful to skirt around that whenever I need a loan for it, something. That's smart. I, yeah. I never will disclose that information. Um, That's wild. You can't that you even have that idea. Oh no, it's not. I'm I'm dealing with right now having my business bank account shut down for the second time this year because they find out that it's adult. It's That's very so unfortunate, wrong. especially because I pay my taxes. It's all exactly. legal. It's just shit. And it makes it just that much more difficult to pay people out who need to, who like rely on that. Yeah. Income. So that's, it, yeah, it's very wild. annoying. Um, Sorry to hear that. No, it's okay. It's okay. Fuck Relay Bank. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you guys. Um, but anyway, with this castle, it was a sell the carry loan. I don't remember why I wasn't approved for the jumbo loan, um, but I wasn't. And I think I put down somewhere around 400 and something thousand dollars on it. Mm -hmm. Um, And it was 25,000, the mortgage was $25,000 a month with not the best interest rate. (laughs) 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 Um, I will say when I first moved in, the HVAC system broke and it was an industrial uh, HVAC system because the property was so massive. And to replace it, this is in the first month of moving in to replace just the HVAC system. It was eighty thousand dollars. Oh my god! Not a small bill. No, like that's the the property was actually insane to take care of financially, um, and then to try to decorate and furnish. Oh my and god! I couldn't even imagine trying to furnish this place. Yeah, I had. You I buy had everything? Fun, huh? Did you buy everything like new? I, I was starting to. Okay. I was starting because it didn't come furnished. It came with some things, but uh, like a lot of the furniture that they had wasn't very nice. And I wanted to shoot on a lot of it. How many Um, bedrooms? I don't remember. It was maybe like five or six bedrooms. That was that was furniture I had bought. It was so pretty. So very pretty. But um, one of the one of my big issues with it was the security because people would come and stay with us Mm -hmm. and people would stay over all the time, which is very unlike me. I don't, I don't do that, but because it was such a massive property, it was fine. I could go hide in my room. Uh, But in order to lock all of the doors at night and make sure they stayed locked. And I'm a type of person where I lock the doors during the day. I don't like doors to ever be unlocked. Mm -hmm. And that wasn't the case with this place because there were so many and there were so many people coming in and out. Um, and I think there's something like six doors you have to go lock in order to, uh, like, situate it. <laughs> Isn't that like um, a Google Home thing? Hey, you can just, like, press the button and they all lock? Mine didn't have that, unfortunately. Couldn't. I wish that would have been a smart idea to do. I mean, is it I, I don't like think I, bucks? Like, I had, I like, had, a, like, I had a security yeah. system, but I don't think I even considered that. You buy, you, you buy like a, like a, a castle, and you like Google Nest Homes, like what, one hundred and eighty bucks? Like not, I can't. Not too only, much. Yeah, not only that, but everyone, you could just Google the address. 
It, and, that seems and bit. everyone knew I owned it. It was in the newspaper and everything. So I didn't. I really didn't feel safe there. And especially since the um, the day after I moved in, um, we actually had a break in. Which Jesus. I know <laughs> we we ha- we hadn't had a break in after, but that was the only time that I'm ruining my dreams of living in a castle. Yeah, I'm sorry. like I just. <laughs> I'm Wait, sorry. Did you have any parties there, or did you just have people stay over? Because you were uh, not a party person. We had a few parties. Okay. Which uh, I feel like is there is there some sort of saying where new people with new money like spend it obnoxiously? I mean, I think that's just a fact. Case. Yeah. Is there well, a saying or just a fact? Just a fact. It's just yeah. like a new money thing. To do. Well, that's what I did. <laughs> like, <laughs> just new I, money. You buy you buy a castle. Yeah. yeah. F- so for Halloween, I spent. <sighs> At least forty thousand dollars on decorations. On decorations. Yeah, because wow. I I had all of the different um, like haunted house. Uh, what what are the figurines or models and? Did you have a party? Yeah, you I did have a Halloween party. Yeah. Was it? It was, it was fun. But, it was really but was it forty thousand dollars worth of fun. No. Just a bad investment. The <laughs> whole thing was a terrible investment. Really? Like, yeah, I did lose. I lost about a million dollars. And I'll say, so it was my ex-boyfriend. Keep him. Okay, Here, here's what happened. So I was looking for a second home to buy. And he this was. This was a second home? This was a second home. Um, and he was saying, oh, like. I'm with her. You're not going to want to. I, I was very easily manipulated. And he would say, okay, you're not going to want to be doing. (laughs) Finding a place to to live. (laughs) Yeah. It's like, hey. (laughs) Yeah, I'll spend a million dollars if you tell me to. (laughs) Um, (laughs) But pretty much he was was saying, oh, you're not going to want to be doing this forever. Let's start a production company. This is what I do. Blah, blah, blah. Um, And he convinced me that we could buy this because I had actually seen this on the market a year before I bought it. Mm -hmm. I saw it, I think, on Zillow because I had created it in The Sims. I, I used to do that. <laughs> I, I would go through and I'd find homes that I liked and I would make them in my Sims game. And so this one I had already had on my radar and I was like, oh my God, that's my dream home. And a year later when the OnlyFans money really hit, he was like, well, you could actually, you could you could totally do this. He, he convinced you to buy a castle? Yes. Are you, he, he actually convinced you that? That was his idea. My ex couldn't get me to try goat's cheese, and he convinced you to buy a castle. Yeah, I yeah. Still I still haven't tried goat's cheese, by the way. It looks fucking disgusting. If, but if you like, che- well, if you like cheese, it's delicious. I think you're missing out. But back to <laughs> I want to date you. <laughs> um, oh my god. Yeah. Back to the point. It end. I, I got to the point where I did realize this is so stupid. I was like, <laughs> this guy has. I mean, no, because he was supposed to run the whole production company and, and pretty much pay for the mortgage and then some. Um, and it like the cost, he would have a caterer on set while these girls were shooting, flying them up and, and, and like just all of these things. I was thinking the cost of this is astronomical. We're never going to make this back. And then spending 40 to 50 grand on a Halloween party for what, con- like a little bit of content. It was just so stupid. Um, and when I did separate from him, I, I knew that I didn't want to be in Oregon. I knew I didn't want any part of the castle anymore. And I knew how stupid it was. And that was just this massive money pit. I had known it for a while. So I pretty much signed it back over to the original seller Mm -hmm. after doing a bunch of upgrades to it. Mm -hmm. And after everything definitely let go of about a million on the bright side. On the bright side, I got a nice tax deduction. <laughs> Was it a million dollars for tax I deduction? Know. I think somewhere around that. I didn't have to pay that much for that year because I do pay. I do pay close to a million in taxes now, which is pretty shit. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Oh my God. I, I, you know what? I feel better about every dumb thing I've ever bought on Amazon or TikTok shop. Oh, you should. Truly? Like, if I feel guilty you should. about, I'm like, oh, I just, I bought this dumb, I do it all the time. At least I'm not Mia and I didn't buy a fucking castle. Exactly. And, and a million that's, dollars. That's my justification. You know, I'm like, let me, you know, let me buy this, I bought this fucking dog paw washer that you put your dog's paw in and it cleans it before you walk in the house. How did, hasn't used it, I have not used it once. You felt bad about that? 
no, I'm just too lazy to use it. Yeah. But like, you know, TikTok, I'm like, they're like, you need this. I'm like, I need this. <laughs> no, like everything on Amazon. See, my boyfriend, you need this castle. My Am- yeah, driver. I need the castle. <laughs> you know? <laughs> my, Am- my Amazon driver is just like, up, oh, you again, 13 packages a day. But at least I didn't buy a castle. I can agree with that. I'll be I'll be honest. I think about it. It took me a while to trust myself after this because I I did sit down and and think with myself and I was like, "Wow, if I wasn't continuing to make X amount of money, it would just all be gone." Like, what? Um, also. If- yeah. Is it is it the dumbest thing you ever bought? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I, yeah, I I feel like if that question came up at a party, no one could top I bought a castle. You know? I'm a fantasy nerd, okay? People, it was a dream come true. Some people buy, like, <laughs> old vintage cars, like, break down and don't work, and that would be me, mm-hmm. but, you know. What would you do with, like, what, or what is the dumbest thing you've ever bought? 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 <laughs> bought is a um, word, isn't it? No, yeah. Yeah. nothing really. Is it? I thought bought. Anything you've ever bought? Oh. Yeah, I think you're right. I don't know. <laughs> nothing, <laughs> on it, honestly, nothing really. Um, I haven't really made any dumb, stupid purchases. Like, I'm sorry, I, you're so perfect. No, no, just like <laughs> I like I want to. Just it's just like you know, just like pulling the trigger on it. Yeah, you know, I probably buy like an, a bunch of old like vintage Broncos. Oh, I know why. Why? Jewish. That is, yeah, yeah. truly. Because I call my dad, and he's like, "This is dumb as fuck. Don't do it." Mm-hmm. Um, ah. <laughs> Um, no, but the f- I would for sure buy a bunch of old vintage Broncos. Like, I see them all the time, and I would, like, send it to, like, you know, a boyfriend or something, and he's like, just, he's like, this is going to break down immediately. And I was like, but it looks cool as shit. That's what I would buy, just a bunch of old trucks. To do what with? To fix up? Just to drive around LA and feel cool. Interesting. I don't <laughs> and even I'm know what a Bronco is. I'm completely serious about this. I'll pull it up. Like, like... Or like an old, um, what's it called? Um, Would people think you were cool? I don't care if people saw, think. I'm it's just how curious. I feel. I'm just curious though. It's is that I like feel. is that like a cool thing? A vintage Bronco? To me, it is. To other people, is it? Yeah, like these cars. No, Gabby. No. I. <laughs> <laughs> like, what's it called? Like, what's, what, what, what is it? It's cute. It kind of reminds. I don't know. For some reason, it gives me like toy Barbie vibes. Okay, but I I saw this car at the um at the gun range the other day, and I I look like such a loser. I was taking photos and videos of it. I would one hundred percent buy this. I can see that. And bop around LA listening to Ariana Grande. That's all I want to do with the windows down. Yeah. Like, listen to girly pop music. Just like a crazy monster truck. Wait, did you get a snack in, in the middle of our podcast? <laughs> I was starving. There was at my desk real quick. I'm hungry too. <laughs> <laughs> what the <laughs> What? A producer just leaves to get a sandwich? <laughs> we felt your absence, too, and he just comes back with a sandwich. <laughs> okay, wait. We're talking about- You were looking something up. I was, and I found it. Okay, so do you agree, Carlos? Do you agree with this? So I, I found I saw this car at the gun range last week, and if I, you know, was just a little bit more irresponsible with my money, I want this. I'm texting it to you because you're too lazy to walk over here. How much would it actually be? I don't know because it has all the like additions to it. Oh, Gabby, you could totally do That's that. That's sick. You could easily do. I that. I know, but I I feel guilty about about like I'll buy little things that I need, but like this this. Because it's not like you're driving it off the lot new. It has resale value, right? I mean, it wasn't for sale. I mean, if you find someone like me who loves it as much as I do, it has resale value. But how cool is it? That's fucking cool. Yeah, like, I want to cool. drive around LA listening to Ariana Grande with the windows down in this car so badly. This is what she dreams of at night. It's it, No, it's, it's Those true. Those are simple dreams, though. That's like, I know, it's, it's and cool. It's, and it's so att- obtainable, too. I know. I, I'm a simple girl. You know, I don't ask much. I'm a really big fan, though. Like, if you're... I'm a really big fan, obviously, in treating yourself. Mm-hmm. You, like, you're only here for a short amount of time. You have money to spend it. Yeah. Like, exactly. as long as you... As long as you have your cushion, which I've learned since... <laughs> It's taken me a while. <laughs> as long as you have like a little cushion, it's okay to treat yourself. I say do it. I think it's cool as shit, honestly. But I've, I feel like guys don't like it. Why? 
I don't know. I always get comments from guys. They're like, is that your, even with my Jeep, they're like, is that your car? Oh, I, love I feel the like because Jeep. they all drive like Teslas. Oh, the oh, Jeep is so totally. cool. Like I, like, I feel like, is that, is it intimidating to guys? Like, should I not In pull California, up? California, guys don't drive, like, don't drive trucks or like, m- like very masculine cars. They drive like, like I drive like a Mercedes that like a mom would drive. Sleek. But is that like, should I not? No, you should no, do whatever you should, is your you, you, vibe. No, I know, but cool. I feel like, like recently I've like, guys just like immediately intimidated by my car because it's like it's not just the a car. huge like lifted <laughs> it's what yeah, it's not just the it's car not, i mean like the last guy that got in the car with you didn't you like grab his mouth and make him bleed all night like <laughs> <laughs> that sounds so sus yeah that's true it um, sounds sus but watch the last episode <laughs> but yeah i did the whole story i did i did like the i did um leave one morning a guy's house was like 6 a.m 7 a.m not a walk of shame but um and he walked me to the car and I turned the car on and it was like the last song that was playing the night before. Yeah. And it was just Eminem and 50 Cent. <laughs> and it was so aggressive for like six o'clock in the morning. And he was just like, this is what you listen to. I was like, I'm on my way to Pilates. <laughs> like, you know. So I feel like I have to just turn it down like a little bit. So at 6 a.m., the guy walked you to your car. That's like, that's pretty gentlemanly, I feel like. Yeah. I would not let someone not walk me to my car. Yeah, I feel be, usually like when you wake up in the morning next to a guy or a girl or something, you kind of just get up and you leave and you're like, I would text them like, hey, I rolled out. I, I'd do the same thing. Yeah. I've done you're it. making me feel like that's a bad thing, Gabby. It is. Walk, walk no. them to their car. Uh-huh. <laughs> I, I think it, <laughs> oh my God, y'all lazy as hell. Okay. I swear to God. I think you're absolutely right. But it's just, it's appropriate to, to, to just kind of bounce and say, hey, I left, like, mm-hmm. you know, like, I, I let mean, the person no. still sleep. I mean, I'm, there's, there's things I'll, like, ask for and things I won't. I just, like, it's the same with, like, I, like, when guys open car doors for me, I feel like I like manners. Mm. So it's, like, you know, if you would like me to stay over, walk me to my fucking car. That's it. <laughs> like, do you ask them to do this? I, like, tell them. Oh, Okay. You know, okay. but I also do. It's not just like random guys. It's like if someone I, you're seeing, someone I'm like seeing, and they like yeah. know the expectation is mm-hmm. they have to walk me to my car. Yeah, you know, because it's, it's not like the first one I meet them, I'm going home with them, and yeah. they're like, oh, that's right. Yeah, it's like it's like someone I'm dating. Yeah, and you know, if I'm if I won't get in the car unless the car doors opened or they have to open every door for me, they, they kind of like know walk. what the expectation mm-hmm. is. Okay, okay. You know, I'm not saying like you know, it's not a bad expectation. Yeah, but they, oh. they, they if, I'm, if, I'm, if I'm at the stage where I'm staying at their house, they're very well aware of what yeah. they've got themselves into. <laughs> I'm not springing this on anyone, Carlos, you I, know? I, like, I understand. You just like, roll out of the bed on one night stands? No, usually a girl will stay at my place, but like the last couple of girls have just like rolled down. They're like, I have to go to work. Bye. I've done, like, that, cool. I've done that once because I can count on my hands the amount of times I've had a one night stand. Like I said, it always turns into some sort of relationship. Mm. But, like, the last one I did roll out. <laughs> yeah, somebody says... It's just... I would have been weird to to wake them up be like, hey, and be like, bye. Goodbye. Yeah. I'm not like... I mean, like, they're awake. It's like, no, please don't wake up. <laughs> in, my, in, my, in my defense, he was awake, too. Yeah. Oh, then that's exactly... Yeah. yeah. I wasn't, I wasn't like, poking him, being like, walk me to my car. And <laughs> walk me to someone my you car. were dating. Too. It was someone else yeah. that I was, like, seeing. Or, like, dating. It wasn't, like, a... You know, he just... A one-night stand, and I just, like, I'm like, get the fuck up. Walk me to my car. <laughs> You know, have you ever accidentally farted in front of somebody no. early on? Yes. <laughs> you okay? No, because I, I, I am not a farter at all. Like I'm not kidding. I think it's disgusting. I truly think it's so gross. I think it's so rude farting and burping. I hate. I hate, hate, hate when men fart in front of me. I think it's I so gross. I fucking hate it. And, and I like, will always hate it. And like, I'm not kidding. Like, really- I, 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 on accident, it's funny. It's fine. On purpose. Yeah, I'm never going to. If, so if something happens, I'm not going to be like, you farted. <laughs> and it's like, I, I hear stories of like girl, girls like, my boyfriend Dutch ovened me. Yeah. Oh my would, God. It, that's disgusting. Yep. That's disgusting. And like, I am not like coming from a place of like moral superiority, but. <laughs> I am, I think, considerate. Same. Like, I'm just trying to be considerate. Yeah. I would like someone to be considerate back to me. Yeah, I don't want to, I don't um, want to have to, like, inhale your, like, internal gases. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> like. But I did, 
but I did when I started to date my ex boyfriend in Australia, and I swear to, to three years we were together, and he would tell a story whenever he could. But we just started dating, mm-hmm. and we were like going to sleep, and I farted. And it was in a complete Aww. accident. And it wasn't like something that was like quiet and I could get away with. And I was shocked. Like I was shocked. Did you jump? Because I wasn't. I jumped. <laughs> I'm like not. A, I, I promise you, I'm just. I'm not a fighter. I'm not cool with it. Yeah. I don't do it. Um, I would like hold it yeah. for like 24 hours if I could. Yeah. But I pretended to be asleep. <laughs> like he, he knew I wasn't asleep. I knew I wasn't asleep. But we yeah. both pretended Aww. just for like. For my... Um, Comfortability. Yeah, embarrassment levels. Yeah. And um, I think it was like a few months later, he's like, I knew your ass wasn't asleep. Like, I... He's like, I, was like, I love that he didn't say anything. He didn't say anything. He <laughs> Until a couple months later. Until he was comfortable and he was yeah. like, he's like, you farted in front of me. Like, you farted in front of me first. <laughs> um, hey, we have breaking news. This is a rare thing for Out of Bed, but live during the show, we have the feds breaking into Puff Daddy's Miami and Los Angeles homes and raiding it mm. under sex trafficking charges. Ooh. Well, this is like, what, 10 years coming? 20 years coming? I mean, well, did you know something, Gabby, 10 years ago and not say anything? No, but I'm just like, there's like been rumors about how much am I get? Can I get sued for defamation for having an opinion? No. no. Okay. I mean, th- does this end to surprise anyone? I actually don't know anything about it. I don't know who Puff Daddy is. P. Diddy. And I've heard the name. <laughs> that is amazing. You don't know who that is. No. Ignorance is bliss. You know this guy. He looks familiar. <laughs> I mean, people, like, look, I have, I've only been in LA for a couple of years. Look at his statue at his home, though. Here, get out of that. His look statue's at that. pretty badass. <laughs> That's the funniest thing about this raid is we're seeing all the art Puff Daddy has bought. Yeah. <laughs> I, I think he has terrible taste, to be honest. It's a naked woman with no head. I mean, they must have a lot of... A, a pretty it's, solid search warrant to be able to do this. Oh, yeah. Like, he would have he would have the best lawyers in Hollywood, and they must have a lot of evidence to be able to legally do this. He's a musician, right? Yeah. He's, and a famous producer as well. Mm-hmm. Okay. And he's he has this much money, obviously. So he's they're rating him on sex trafficking. Yeah, charges? that's what the news was saying earlier that they, he could have crossed state lines, which makes it a felony, obviously. Do you know who Cassie is? Who Cassie, the artist? Uh uh-uh. uh Um, you I'm sure you would have if you put up her music. She was like big in the two thousands, um, but she dated him for like ten years, and she didn't she have a lawsuit against him last year, and he gave her how many million dollars to drop it, Carlos? What's up? You have one job on this podcast. I, Pay attention to us. <laughs> sandwiches and texting. <laughs> I, I, Carlos, you're out. Richie, you're in. Let's go. There's no excuses. There actually are no excuses. <laughs> Do you know Cassie? No. no. I'm going to play you her music later. Um, she dated him for like 10 years, didn't she? And she brought a lawsuit against him. Last year, I think, and he gave her, like, what, $30 million to go away, to drop it? It's- I mean, this story, the reason why it's so impactful is because at this point, it's becoming like the Catholic Church, where there's a pattern. It's not a rotten apple issue. It seems like the basket is rotten. Oh, Hollywood's fucked. Yeah, but, like, now it's all being revealed after Me Too, but, like, it's not... There's no slowing down of the revealing of corruption. Yeah, because we're, we just have way too much access to information. Look at that Quiet On Set documentary. Loved it. Like, oh, I haven't seen it yet. I really want you to. You should. Oh I've, I've been following it, but I haven't seen it it's yet. It's so good. And you know what's yeah. also crazy? There's also a pattern of child stars. Like, they make up all these rumors about how they, they go off the rails and they go crazy. They get addicted to drugs and alcohol. Um, they're super difficult to work with and no one wants to work with them. Um, and then they, they've they all gone crazy and they've all come out with allegations. But when they come out with allegations, because they've been labeled as, like, insane mm-hmm. for so many years... People are like, oh, we don't believe them because, yeah. you know, they got a DUI. They got, they were, you know, found in the gutter outside this nightclub. They the response to trauma, though, getting a DUI. They're yes. drinking because of the horrible past they had. For it's sure. Horrible. But they've, they've also like established a pattern of like making them sound crazy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So when they do come out, people, people have this idea in their head that they are crazy. They're like, all child stars are insane and they go off the rails. Mm-hmm. And it's just like, I, I swear they're like setting things up so when if and when they ever do come out with allegations mm. when they're older, no one believes them anyway. Like I was talking about this with, with one of my friends. If I ever had kids, I would never put them in entertainment, ever. 
Uh, what what exactly like sex tra- I'm I'm a little confused. What exactly would that entail? Like him? It would be uh, him um, paying or him giving minors across. Huh? State I think lines. it would be minors. Yeah, exactly. A prostitution minors cross escorts state lines. to like, him. Yes. Him or other people. Yeah, like what if he's like performing in Atlanta and he wants a girl from North Carolina, but she's 16 or he's mm-hmm. a 15 year old boy or something. That's like what it's about because like this is so funny, but like my sister's friend like Drake uh, had her. Uh, take like a sprinter van from Austin to Dallas just to like meet up with him like Mm -hmm. but if that person was underage and it was Oklahoma City FBI would be there in five seconds okay all right that makes sense oh that's actually disgusting I love the fact that all this is coming to light like Hollywood is so rotten it is like it's yeah I don't I don't understand it because anyone under the age of 18 even at 18 like they're actually just babies Mm mm-hmm like I look, I look at my nieces and my nephews, and what is sexually attractive about that? They're they're literally just awkward little children. Yeah, but people, so sad. Yeah. Well, that was breaking news on Out of Bed. We wanted to bring you live into the newsroom. Of oh, Daddy, we will not. I feel like it's. I feel. Like <laughs> I feel like it's an episode of The Office. What? I literally should make every... I had to take every opportunity to make an Office reference. You know when they see the Scranton Strangler drive past? Out of the office. <laughs> That's basically us right now, you know? No, I don't know. I, I've only watched the show one time. <laughs> <laughs> Can this, like, be your homework, please? That we actually have to talk about outside the show? I'll rewatch it. I'll rewatch it. I love these TikTok threads. Like, I loved... I really hope they don't ban TikTok. It's terrible for our brains. Yeah, it is. But it is... <laughs> it provides a level of entertainment that I don't think I could get anywhere else. And also a level of validation. I thought I was crazy. Right? Okay. Until I read, (laughs) until I see videos like this and it says, I want all the girls to comment the craziest thing you've done because I want to see if I can, if I'm really that crazy. Okay. Mia, I ain't got shit on these girls. (laughs) 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 I am so below, I am so below the bar of normal that I feel so validated and justified in anything that I do. All right. Well, what it... What is it? Because I don't feel that way. Okay. <laughs> okay. The, the craziest thing you've done to a man. I had a homeless guy break into his car for $5 and pee in his hydro flask. That's, wait, oh my God. that's so cheap. That's, that's so cheap. cheap. That's, that's, that's the price perfect. of a coffee. And he would break in. He wants that coffee. Break into a car, his car, and pee in his hydro flask. I absolutely love that. <laughs> okay. I made him a box of brownies with an entire box of Ducalax in it. I saw that one. That's incredible. I that's... saw that one. That's actually just pure evil. <laughs> I let him borrow my car, then called the cops and told them it was stolen. <laughs> oh, man. Do you think she actually did? Yes. <laughs> would you do something like that? Yes. No. Would. I feel like yes. Gabby would. Yes. yes. No. Yeah. Never. <laughs> Never. <laughs> <laughs> my friend took his car and drove really fast in front of a speed camera a bunch of times. I would do this, but they have cameras at sp- at. Sp- all those speed signs now. And they can tell. Like, yes. you can contest it, especially if it's not you. I mean, I, the, the last... <laughs> I got a ticket for getting a red light camera in Beverly Hills, and you should have seen me. I wrote the most strongly worded letter. Mm-hmm. I mean... Oh, no. No, truly. Like, my... <laughs> <Over> my $80. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't... I money. wrote a letter. It wasn't the money. It was the principle, because I... It was... I turned right on red, and I was like... You, you can turn right and red. What are you talking about? This is wrong. Apparently, you do have to stop or like come to a complete stop. Yeah. But I had my dad, my dad's an attorney, had him proofread it, had him like add his little two bits in it. And I was like, there's no way, like, this, this is not me in the car, blah, blah. They sent a photo of my face. Just close up of the window. She looked at it, like this. <laughs> Blonde hair. I'm just like this, like my little head, like above, like my big Jeep. And they're yeah. like, this is you. You're like, it's Cameron Diaz. No, I li- literally. That's good, actually. I was like trying to pretend it wasn't me. 
you can wear and, um, you my, could wear a mask if you wanted to do that to somebody. Did my parents actually. Cameron Diaz. <laughs> huh? Did you say mask because of Cameron Diaz? <laughs> no, but that's really good. <laughs> you can't, you should wear the mask. <laughs> I should. She becomes green. <laughs> my parents actually have that photo. It? Oh, it's, it's on the fridge. It <laughs> it's on the fridge. Like I'm not kidding. My parents' fridge is like my sister's like graduation with like her PhD and her masters, and like my other sister's like you know all her work successes. My parents are like, this is the only photo from your Instagram that we can put in our fridge. Oh, <laughs> like, it's the only one. Everything else is like not appropriate for a, for a family mm-hmm. fridge. Um, so basically that didn't work. No. Um, so girls, if you want to do that, please make sure wear some kind of disguise. Okay? But that's, um, that's a good one. Okay, let's see. My ex cheated on me, so I convinced him to get matching tattoos and then broke up with him before I got mine. <laughs> <laughs> that is gnarly. That's amazing. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I don't know, but I have to, Oh my god, I have a problem. I have a problem. <laughs> like, what? I keep I keep thinking, but wait, that's not possible. Cuz what guy? <laughs> what guy is going to go get the tattoo before she gets hers? They go together. Go like together. that's a scary thing. <laughs> Wow. Yeah, I'm sorry. I keep like mentally debunking these. <laughs> 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 oh my god, this is like the, I think the girls need to write an, an anonymous book because I feel like there's so many worse ones. And some girls are saying I legally can't say what I what I did. I feel like there has to be someone needs to invent a website where you can anonymously post. This these is things. the worst thing that you've ever done to you a man, can, right? Like Ladue. Pardon? Or what's the, or Demois, not Ladue. You that, can that's anonym- like celebrity news that no one cares about. I if there was a if there was a version oh, of Demois the, the where girls just posted anonymously the crazy shit they've done, and then for legal reasons like it couldn't be tracked back to them. Oh, it would. I would watch that shit all day. It would be fucking. I don't care. Nuts. I don't care about celebrity. It news would be some shit. Look at this one on the TV. He left his Prime uh, Video account logged into my TV, so I purchased over eight hundred dollars oh, worth of shows, oh, movies, the day's paycheck. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. That's awesome. I cancelled his pa- Go ahead, go ahead. I cancelled his passport last night because he thinks he's going to Germany. Oh my god. Can you cancel a passport? I don't know, can you? And so quickly? The night before? Uh, I this is amazing. <laughs> I put gorilla glue in his hair gel. Oh. That's fucked. I wait, that's a that's assault, right? No. No, I you really, could just get away with that. I'm pretty. Sure. Could you imagine if a man put gorilla gr- glue in my conditioner? Yeah, I, mean, I feel like they don't think about the those other things. way around. You could sue, but or like nair, no <laughs> nair in the conditioner. I have, I, mean, I have been talked out of that one. <laughs> no, I'm not getting excited. I'm horrified. I have it's even potential. What? 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 I, what? I was, I was talked out of the nair one. What? What? I didn't think about it. What did you do? I didn't do anything. Oh, okay. He, he still has a luxurious head of hair, okay? There is no hair loss, but I was tempted with, oh. the, with the nair in the shampoo. Mm. He deserved it, and I didn't do it because I'm a good person, but it was very tempting because the nair was right there and his shampoo was yeah. right here, and they were just- Were you just trying to play a prank on him? Is that where your mind was? Or no, was you, I would never. You it were was, mad. It was, it was fully justified. Yeah. Um, I, I've done a prank that was very harmless, but he did end up crying. What was it? What a baby. <laughs> <laughs> um, so uh, this was when me and my boyfriend first started dating and we moved into the house pretty early on. <laughs> Um, and he was streaming and he would leave his computer open and he was playing this game nonstop and he had spent like maybe $30,000 on this game, maybe, maybe more, I'm not quite sure. And, and also like a month of just straight 15 hours a day, <laughs> if that, uh, like to, to get to the level he was at. And he had this weapon that's like, would be minimum of $10,000 to replace. And so before he went live, I thought it would be funny to hide this weapon. So... <laughs> 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 
<laughs> I hid the weapon in one of his pet's um, slot bag where he okay. wouldn't know to look for it. Like, I, I didn't even think he knew that it was there. And he went live, and I didn't know this, but he was raiding, he was doing a stream and raiding with a bunch of other, like, big streamers, and they were all waiting on him, <laughs> and he couldn't find it, and they actually started yelling at him, <laughs> and he started, he, he like, he actually <laughs> cried just from being so stressed out and not knowing what was going on. Just trying to think of a bunch of streamers. But it was meant to be cute. <laughs> yeah, that's harmless. It was you know, meant to be cute. You know, I didn't actually get rid of cute. it. Yeah. Yeah. You, know, yeah. you know my sister did to her ex-boyfriend? What? This is this is actually, she's a genius. I love her. They had a fight. He left the house and she was like, I'm going to go sleep at, you know, my, my sister's house for the weekend. But before she left, she took every cord in the house. So she didn't take his laptop or his PS5 or the TV or his laptop. She took every phone charger, every laptop oh. charger. She disconnected all of the cords from his from his PlayStation and his, what what are they called? Your sister did this? Yeah. What did he do to deserve this? All, all the controllers. She took all the cords. <laughs> she unhooked like the, the T, what's it called? TV, the D, HDMI cable from the TV to the outlet. So she didn't take anything of value. She, she took all the cords. So when he came back after the fight, he couldn't, his laptop was out of battery, <laughs> couldn't charge his phone. He couldn't watch TV. He couldn't play his PlayStation or, or, or any of his video games. And she took like his surf wax. Like she took like, she like- That's oh, actually <laughs> such a good one. She took yeah. like his motorcycle keys. Like she didn't take anything of actual value. Yeah. She just made sure he would have the shittiest, most boring weekend ever. I'd got- <laughs> <laughs> It was actually amazing. Yeah, well, she's she's like I'm not carrying that. That she's like that's that shit's heavy. Yeah. I'm not taking any of it. I'm just making sure he can't enjoy himself this weekend. She literally texts me and she's like, he's gonna sit and think about what he did. Whoa, <laughs> that's that's some next level shit. Isn't that brilliant? It's that's brilliant. A- like. Oh. I was like, I have taught you well. It's brilliant, like, but it's next. You are def- it's we next are definitely level. related. Like, <laughs> your younger sister? I have two younger sisters. It was okay. one of them. Yeah. And I was like, I have never been so sure that we are blood. <laughs> as, as I have in this very moment. I have a question. Wait, what did so he, good. What did he end up doing? Did he go to uh, like a Best Buy or something? <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't know. I, 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 this, this is like not her, not her current partner. This is like a, a boyfriend before. Um, I don't know. I would walk my happy ass there. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> I think she just car keys, you know? Like, yeah, that's what I'm mad. can drive there. I, like, I would walk my happy ass yeah. even if it took me five hours. Yeah. Like, She's just as petty as I am. So I was like, I was like, I, I get it. Um, Wait, these, can I read some more? Yeah, these are these are amazing. Yeah, they're great. Um, I clean the toilet with his toothbrush. Ooh. That's fun. That's really bad. But is it as bad as what I did with the vape? Nope. <laughs> what you do? He's brushing his teeth, and then the vape you're inhaling. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I brought. I bought bed bugs from the internet and released them in the apartment we shared after he cheated on me. Whoa. I moved out back to my dad's house. I would do that. I would do that. Wow. One. I haven't Can done anything buy- like that, but I didn't know you could do that. That's something I would do. Can you yeah. buy bed bugs on the She's internet? On I apparently six month subscription for two vials of twenty five bed bugs. Cheapbedbugs.com. <laughs> from the Philippines. <laughs> Oh, you get it in vials? How can we guarantee these are actually bed bugs? I mean, I think if you're going through this much trouble to sell bed bugs on the internet, wait, you're probably a breeder, right? Yeah, yeah, he's a it's, breeder. I mean, the price of bed bugs is like the price of a golden doodle, right? Yeah. <laughs> or like at least a shelter dog. That's. It's much more. Ex- I would just breed my own. Or, or you know what I would do? What? I go to Motel Six in Hollywood. There's definitely free bed bugs yeah, there. It's one hundred percent. Yeah, <laughs> just take them with you. I would do but, okay, this. Who is buying a six month subscription? That's what I'm saying. Of bed bugs, Carlos, are you serious? I'm doing the bed bug thing. I saved it for a picture. The website's called Cheap Bed Bugs. I, I just like getting mad at you, to be honest. <laughs> just, I was doing bed bug stuff. I know, but it's so easy. No, who is who, who is buying six months of bed bugs? Uh. Phew. I'm at a loss for words. I'm trying to think. What type Scorn of person women. needs six month subscription of bed bugs? Oh my god. I think it's like schools doing like research is what I yeah. wonder. 
Some Someone... really low-level research. <laughs> Someone said the comment section is like a vision board. <laughs> hmm? Someone said the comment section is like a vision board. For what? This? For like ideas. I'm confused. <laughs> you know, like, you know, like you make a vision board of like yeah. things you want to achieve. Yeah. So, oh, okay. This yeah. comment section. We, we, is we like took a, a minute. We got there. We got there. Oh yeah, my we got god. There. <laughs> <laughs> we got there eventually. <laughs> Sorry, I'm still on the bed bug <laughs> situation. Oh my god! You pretended we got back together, then got him to put a down payment on a flat and fix it up before I broke up with him. Oh, he had money. That just sounds like you're pushing him to make a good investment. Yeah. <laughs> like, I feel it like... Is, it is. Right? I, that guy definitely had some money. <laughs> Allegedly, I sold his social security number. Allegedly. You could probably do it on the black web. No, I just love that she said, allegedly. Like, this girl knows what's up. Yeah, you that's know? sick. <laughs> it's a lot of terrible people out there. He had super sensitive skin, so I put itching powder on his pillows. Had him scratching his head, just like me, trying to figure out how I didn't see the red flags. Aww. <laughs> What's the awful? I don't know. <laughs> I'm feeling bad for them. <laughs> Wait, Gabby, you know what I did for revenge on a guy once? A guy? Not that we dated, I just didn't like him. Also a valid reason? I put his number as a gay escort on Craigslist back in the day. Oh, that's, that's really like good. a really reasonable price. I've heard, I've heard one of my guy friends do that <laughs> to his boss. Oh, yeah, tough. who who was who was a terrible person, but he put his number on yeah gay Craigslist in West Hollywood, and the man had to change yeah. his phone number. I did do I did something similar to somebody like uh about 10 years ago out of nowhere i got this i think she was drunk and i got this facebook message just slut shaming the hell out of me and we'd always had a decent relationship and it was just like really obnoxious so i posted her number on um my twitter asking to send nudes <laughs> <laughs> and then she did comment she's like i'm really scared like my phone's blowing up blah 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 and i was like apologize and i'll take it down. that's awesome <laughs> and she did apologize i i just i, I just want to tag guys in this in these in this comment section to realize warning no not a warning you should feel grateful because like i'm not that crazy there's actually the all of these make me look really good like really good. I haven't done anything on this level. Oh no no, these bitches are actually crazy. Like actually insane. It's I'm scary. like I'm like, do you realize what you had? This this is this is what you could have had. You know, just one spin of the bottle. You know, different, and you get egg and milk in your car. <laughs> you know. Slammed his legs between the car door. That's now that's assault. Yeah, but who's suing their ex girlfriend? Mm hmm. I mean, it I, depends on um how bad it is, of course, but. I just it's not as common I would imagine. No, I don't think so. But he'd have to be really vindictive to call the cops on that. Which I feel like there are people who are mm -hmm. like that. Everyone loves the laxatives. My goodness. <laughs> I was his, his his car caught fire somehow and I didn't put it out. That's not <laughs> oh, not the craziest thing I've done, but I cut all his shoelaces in half. Ooh, that sucks. I shouldn't be reading all this because I'm feeling real inspired. <laughs> Ooh, that one's bad. Which one? Figured out every single password he had and was logged into his accounts without him knowing. How do you do that? Figure out every single password? Yeah. Maybe he had given the password for something. <gasps> and you like, I feel like all you really need is the email, the master email, That's and true. you can reset all the passwords. I jumped out of the car while we were on the freeway going 65 miles an hour and then he chased me and I got in the driver's seat and I accidentally hit him with the car. Is that just assault? Yeah, I would call the cops on her. That's great. This you know what crazy. I love? I love all the girls in the comments. They know. They're like, I accidentally hit him. Allegedly. Somehow it caught fire. Yeah. Like, are, these girls know. You know, this TikTok generation, they are, they're across it. My mom had done something like that with um, my younger brother's dad. They were fighting while they were driving and they stopped at a gas station. He got out to get the gas. As soon as he was done, she locked the car and she locked him out and she started to drive away. He jumps on the hood of the car and she drives home with him on the hood of the car. That's awesome. <laughs> my mom. 
That's awesome. Oh. <laughs> oh, oh my god. See, I didn't have any crazy. I just had to learn this shit as an adult. I started way later than I should. I don't do the crazy <laughs> shit as an adult. I'm quite nice about everything and quite fair. Have you guys ever done anything like this? Like I've stopped following people because they post too much. <laughs> do you guys ever like this one here says I stopped hanging out with my best friend from school because he used to post on Facebook too much. He would post something about every 20 minutes and he was just desperate for attention. Have you guys ever done anything like that? I may be so fucking hypocritical of me to be mad at someone for posting for attention. <laughs> like, I, like, let's be real. I don't... Up. Wait, wait. Uh, yeah, but wait, still. Like, Abby, you don't like it when guys post out, like... Oh, no, I hate it when guys do it. But I... But I That's what I'm talking about. But I, no, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't fuck with a guy who posted like that. Yeah. Like, I've, I've never dated anyone who posts like that. All good. No offense. Um, <laughs> just not my type. You guys have your type. I have my type. Gives her an ick. My type is private on Instagram and just following me. Toxic <laughs> as hell. That's what I want. You know what? Oh. That's what I want. <laughs> That's I've never, I've never gotten, uh, I've never unfollowed someone for that. I have a really bad habit though, where I go through once or twice a year and I clear out who I follow. So I get rid of hundreds of people i did the same thing i i do yeah hundreds, hundreds. i just follow like 200 people hundreds and I barely and, like but then I, I follow them again throughout the year so they'll do something and i'll be like oh i don't really like this photo i don't like what they did unfollow and then i'll see something trending oh i really like that follow again Maybe. so there's certain influencer <laughs> influencers who i continuously follow and unfollow throughout uh, the years <laughs> i'm gonna remember that when you if, when you unfollow me I'm not going to unfollow you. I don't know. Maybe I post something terrible and you unfollow it. No, 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 no. I'll just mute you. <laughs> <laughs> I've learned Great. I've learned my lesson. Great. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> no, I just, I just, I, don't, I wouldn't. If we're talking about men, I wouldn't follow a guy um, who like posted like that. Yeah. It was really annoying. How many I, posts is too many posts from a guy? Like daily? One. One. <laughs> Baseline zero. A that's a lot already. That's a, yeah. <laughs> a post a day? Yeah, that's, that's too Oh my God. Like a post a month, maybe, exactly. maybe. And if it's like, it should be a photo of like, like a fish, your face shouldn't even be in it, of like a mountain, your car, truck, you know. I don't. Taco. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. But I, I will say, so when I do have a, a funny like, Ick story in the adult industry when you um when you, when you shoot with other people you have a yes list and a no list mm -hmm. so uh, for me like some some people they'd only have a no list for me i had a yes list and a no list so there was someone who was on my yes list and i shot with him and during the scene without even talking to me he spit in my mouth oh and that's my number one <laughs> I cannot stand it. Like for for I pretended like I liked it in the moment. I, care I fucking I <laughs> fucking too. hate it. I hate it with everything in me. For days, for days we after that, very different reaction. For, for days after that, I sat around and I thought about how I had ate it, and it was sitting in my stomach, and I was gagging and just feeling horrible. And I was like, instant no list. He's I'm just never gonna talk to this. I can't look at him ever again. And I, I mean, instantly no listed. I him. mean, I I have I don't know what it would be like with someone who I didn't know very well spitting in my mouth. That's never happened. You know? Yeah. But if it's like someone I'm seeing or a boyfriend, I wouldn't have that reaction. I don't like to say. I don't like spit at all. Like even like when like uh kissing gets too sloppy, like I I start feeling really grossed out. I I don't like spit on me. Like I I've I use lube instead of spit. I've become the worst porn star in the world. <laughs> the most I was gonna say, I was saying, <laughs> me, uh, I'm kind of ruining your reputation. I, I've always disliked it, but I would I was able to convince myself in the moment I liked it for years, and the second I didn't have to anymore, I was like, you know, I fucking hate it. <laughs> I'm never doing that again. <laughs> well, I feel like my mom watches this podcast. So I'm not gonna say it explicitly, but mm -hmm. would not be mad. <laughs> you know? sorry. I'm sorry. Oh goodness. I'm trying to think. Was I'm trying to try to think of X. Oh, okay. I have one. It was yeah. I was a little bit younger and more mature. But this amazing. This sounds so superficial. 
<laughs> he wore bright orange polo Ralph Lauren pants, okay? No, bright no, that's orange not- polo Ralph Lauren pants. I understand. Just put some jeans on, man. I understand. I don't completely. care about fashion. Like, thank you. Yeah. I had thank somebody you. wear thank you. silver, like a full-on silver outfit. And then the next time we went out, salmon. Salmon pants. Salmon. Salmon. Somebody actually, like, mm-hmm. in the car drove by and was like, nice pink pants. And he screamed back, it's salmon. And I was like, that's <gasps> oh, That's worse. This, than is, this is embarrassing. That's oh. worse. And they, he clarified. Oh yeah. The color uh-huh. specifically. Yeah. Okay, no that's. Fish colors. Huh? No colors. Named- no flashy colors. Like, you're, it's just too obvious what you're doing, and it makes you come off as insecure. Mm, of that's, course. That's how I feel about it. And we don't come you're off trying as to superficial compensate. at all in this conversation. No, I think it's it's superficial in a way that everyone can relate to, like Seinfeld does or something. I like, mean, I, at, at this point, I feel like just you like what you like and just like like it unashamedly. Mm-hmm. That's a word, or I just made it up. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I think that might have been... I'm trying to think of other icks that I've had. Yours got- I have an ick, but it's kind of mean. <laughs> they all are. It, it, it can't, what's a nice, there's no nice ick. Okay, fine, fine. It's something a lot of people can't help, but I think you can help it. You just have to be mindful early on. What? I hate back of the neck wrinkles. <laughs> that's just, that is mean, that is mean. That's actually just mean. That's not even a choice, that's just genetic. They have a choice, they have a choice. Isn't that like for bodybuilders? I don't know, but when I see them, I'm instantly disgusted. And I think that can't that's be me. totally okay. Yeah. <laughs> what were you gonna say, Carlos? I feel like you are gonna say something mean to me. No. <laughs> I feel like it was no, gonna be something mean. No, your I was gonna say that your icks are like I was trying to help like help you like find them, which is they're usually with like effeminate kind of men. Oh, baby voice. Baby. If voice. anyone talks in a baby voice. Guys have baby voice. Yes. Oh, like as a yeah, I get what you're saying. It's it, it, okay. It hasn't reached the point of even having sex because, like, if if I'm having sex with you, you know, like you're in a position like you're probably a boyfriend. You know, you can't do that yeah. shit. Yeah. But like. I have like made out with a guy and he started talking in a baby voice and I literally just walked away. There was just no other what discussion is- to have I- after that. She Gabby, just- it's, it's a sign of a healthy relationship and intimacy that you're comfortable doing that with like the uh, other sig- No yeah. one should feel comfortable doing that at all. At all. I'm sorry. Disagree. Rather have a toxic relationship. Do not talk in a baby voice to me. That's not, that's not right. I'm sorry. What about when a guy's like making out with you and he makes like a moaning sound i've heard that like this is like the biggest turn off of all time is bro. it yeah oh no i like it oh, okay then i'm wrong it's showing Women you, it's so showing compli- you yes. it's so complicated because you're like i like it and i would leave really? i would leave no yeah. it's showing he, it's showing yeah, how into I would it leave. he is i like that yeah but you can say you can say the things and then Moaning? We are so difficult. I feel so sorry for guys. Moaning. Like, just no, y'all are just very, y'all are very different, and I don't think that's difficult. But just like trying to trying to decipher like what women want because we all want different things. Right. I feel sorry for you guys. I really do. Personally, I say you don't have to decipher. You just be yourself, and you'll find the right woman. That's true. Yeah, I would love. I would love to know things I've done, like X. Oh. Don't you? I would love to know. Like, because guys are never going to be honest, mm-hmm. right? Like, if they want to have sex, they're never going to be honest. And they'll put up with a lot more than women will. I really believe that. Mm-hmm. But, uh, you know, like. I would you, love to know too. Like, icks aren't icks to you. They're just things that you do normally or yeah. like personality traits or just habits. Yeah. I wish I could just text people I've dated and be like, I don't want anything else from you. Hope you're having a great life. For my own scientific research, what were things that I did that like icked you out? Like I just need to know that. Like can they can they just like tell me? And like for purely scientific purposes, mm-hmm. I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to start talking to you. I hope you have a great life. Um, I'm not gonna be mad at it. You know, I just want to know. We found a Reddit here of like men saying what their icks are for the. Ooh, I love this. Okay, men's icks. When they talk shit about people they're dating, that's just rude. Wait, that's a nick? When they talk shit about people they're dating? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah that's rude. That yeah. is rude. I don't really care. But, uh, like, I'm number one. Wait, huh? what do you mean? 
when they talk shit about people they're dating, I'm like, oh, but I'm the good one getting all the info. Oh, I'm this battle. oh, I w- oh, yeah, because you don't have good intention. <laughs> I, that, that, that that is an ick for me. That's an ick for me. That is an ick for me. What I, I just would, did? No, no, not oh. you. But like, I would never Fight. talk shit about someone I'm dating. I people. went to a friend, an actual friend. What if they deserve this shit talk? Come on. But, but I'm saying, like, <laughs> but, like but some people talk shit on people they're dating to a lot of people. Oh, yeah. Not just a close, like, It's a hard friend. One. It's a it's, ha- Yeah. People just like, air out their day laundry. And it's a hard one, too, because then they they only see the bad parts. And then, like, the next day, that couple is doing perfectly fine. Oh, my God. I, through it. Are you kidding? I see it all the time. I know girls who I don't know very well. Like, they do not. We are not that close where you should be telling me these things. And, like, I'll be in a group situation. They're just talking shit on their partner. And I'm like, you don't know me like that. Like, this is, yeah. why do you want me to think badly of the person you chose to do life with? That's like reflecting badly on you. And the next day they're like, she's like, my partner, my soulmate on Instagram, you know, the love of my life, no. three years with Sam. And I'm like, what the fuck? You just called out. Gabby, I wonder, I wonder I just, you. you know, I wonder if I'm guilty of this. I don't do it right away, but I do like to connect with people and I don't do it maliciously. It's more just uh, like talking about, how everything's not perfect. It doesn't mm. mean everything's wrong, but no, but I kind think of getting I, it out there and getting a little of insight into what other people think and like just, their points of views and what they go through. I'm I'm so private. I feel like I would talk to my. I'm like so lucky to have two sisters, and whatever I tell them, it doesn't leave. Honestly, like they're very like yeah. They would never tell anyone. So I would ask their advice on things. I feel like but family is almost worse because you're stuck with them, and you especially want them to to like your significant other. Honestly. When my boyfriend, my ex-boyfriend did the worst things, I never told them. I never mm. told my family yeah. until I broke, until I reached a point where I was like, I know we're broken up. Yeah. Like, I know I never want to be with this person again. And then I told them everything because yeah. I was like, I can never bring you around my yeah. family. Yeah. If I tell them these things, they will hate you. Exactly. They will hate you immediately. Mm-hmm. Um, so it's yeah. the smaller things. Yeah. It's, it's the smaller things. I'm like, oh, is this, is this weird? You know, or should I be annoyed by this? So uh, just the inconsequential things. When when my boyfriends have done bad things, like cheat on me, I call everybody. <laughs> wow. Everybody on my close friends list. Because yeah. like they, even if I decide I'm gonna stay with them afterwards, I'm like, you deserve this. Yeah. Like you fucking did it. Like now suffer the consequences. But see, then, no one likes you. <laughs> like, but see, I don't want that reflected on me because I'm like, I look like an idiot if I stay with you. Yeah. And then everyone knows I'm an idiot. I'd rather be a secret idiot. I know. I'd rather be, I'd rather be no one but me knows I'm a fucking idiot. I'll be yeah. honest though, I don't ever look at myself like an idiot when I've like chosen to stay with somebody because I, I think that you know what's best for you and you know, hey, if it's if it's not the right time. So I've just I've always been confident with my decision. To, to say hey I I get it I get you're upset they have to prove themselves to me too but I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with it at least for now mm. I respect that that's healthy yeah. yeah I require more validation from other people <laughs> <laughs> Gabby this next one's about you when they say I'm just brutally honest <laughs> but I don't say that I just am okay I don't say respect I don't say I'm brutally honest respect they just just from the beginning I just wait wait I want to read the rest it. of this I want to no, you want to be a bitch and gloss over it with feigned honesty in the hopes that no one will call you out. And when someone does, you get even more honest. Oh, yeah, that is me. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that actually is me. I, they're not even a psychologist and they just completely diagnose me. <laughs> you want to be a bitch. <laughs> I, just, I, 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 I don't know. That. It actually hurts me now to keep things in. Like I used to, I used to keep a lot of things in, and it would just build resentment. Yeah. So now I just say things, and I actually blurt them out. Yeah, I'm like, the same way. I just I have to like let it out. Yeah, yeah. And I'm the same way. And I think that's because I've been so like meek my whole life that once I found a voice, mm-hmm. it feels good to say it. Yeah. <laughs> Astrology, especially when they blame their horrid behavior on it. Well, guys, you can do it too. Tell them, just tell them you're a fucking Capricorn rising and it's a Venus Mars, um, you know, McDonald's retrograde. And that's that's why I cheated on you this weekend. So, you know, fucking play the game. I would do the same thing. Do you believe in astrology? No. Oh. I don't. I don't either. <laughs> Not at all. I think it's so funny. I think it's fun. I, I think you know it's, what, I think actually? It's, I think it's fun. I don't believe in it whatsoever. But I will say, anytime I'm in a group of women... Everyone, every one of them believe in astrology. But you know, I honestly, I put it on the same par as religion. 
I think that to be honest, I think that it's people um, like just it, it just naturally. I think people like to see the patterns in different things. Absolutely, but when it, especially I, when it's like applied to a wide group of people. Yeah. But like, it, oh, are you sense. are you sensitive? Like, are you emotional? Well, yeah, everybody. Is. No, but <laughs> I, and this and this might be a very naive take. Mm-hmm. I just think it's been around. You know what? Longer than most Western religions. Mm-hmm. Has it astrology? Like mm. astrology, yeah, it's been around, yeah, millennium. forever, basically. Yeah, uh, so like, and but, uh, he's gonna look it up right now. Though, okay, okay. Instead of me saying it's been around forever, but like with people and, and how they were born and having, like, yeah, it's, sets of I mean, I'm, um, this is like it, it goes. Doesn't it go back to like ancient Greek and the China, third like, millennium? It says, yeah. So That's astrology wild. has been around since when? Since be- before be- Christ. Yeah. So if astrology has been around before Christ. <laughs> And I think there's probably on par as much evidence about astrology as there are most religions. Mm -hmm. And I'm Jewish, so, you know, no disrespect to any religious beliefs whatsoever. But I completely respect everyone else's religious beliefs. And I they don't have to agree with me. I expect them to just, like, respect mine. Mm. I respect everyone who believes in astrology. I might not know enough information about astrology to fully understand it, and they might. What about Scientology? Yeah, complete horseshit. There we go. It's just it's literally <laughs> just ne- networking in LA. <laughs> Thank you. But I'm I'm just saying, like, what what's the difference between that and Christianity? Astrology and Christianity. What's what's the real difference? There's a book that's what two thousand years old. They they're all come from the same generic stories from before all of them. Like even like Muslims. Like, yeah, but they, if, it's all if you discount astrology, like, and you really believe in Christianity, what's the difference? There's you don't have real factual evidence basis of either of those things so the fact that you can just like shit on astrology without shitting on i think everything else I that you don't have enough scientific well, evidence of. i think the difference is with uh religions it's faith like that's the big thing is it's faith and astrology faith. too is it yeah absolutely it's, i it's, think astrology rely is like no this is real this is proven that's what i'm saying i yeah, feel like i feel, like, I feel like, like people think that it is it's actually proven it's they're not going off of faith what are you talking this really have you met very religious people yeah but they, they don't go on faith like they will die in the name of their religion but the idea is faith that that's like the whole point of life to leap without looking and to trust that god mm-hmm. will catch you in a way yes but exactly not, yes yeah. but it's, it's also like very religious people will and have throughout history died in the name of their religion. Yeah, I just don't think that was the original intention of the religion, though, for people to act violent for their no, own. No, not at all. But I, yeah. my, my point is, when people, I hate when people shit on astrology, even though I don't believe it because they say there's no evidence of it. So, and so if you have that train of thought, then you have to discount everything else in life that you don't have enough evidence, hard scientific yeah. evidence in 2024 to back up the claims of what you're believing. And religion, most religions, all religions fall under that umbrella. So I don't, I don't, um, what if, some, I respect what if somebody is an atheist and doesn't believe in astrology? Then I respect, <laughs> okay, then I, I respect that more because, because then at least like, you're consistent. Yes, exactly. Exactly. Yeah, so yeah. like your train of thought is I don't believe in anything. Uh, it, it, I don't that, believe in, that I can't scientifically that prove. I can't feel touch that I don't have enough scientific evidence to like form my basis of belief on mm-hmm. and both of those things fall under that category I'm just yeah. saying to me it's, I think it's very hypocritical argument. it's a great argument hypocritical mm-hmm. Adam I said it's a great argument you're making I'm just saying yeah yeah and like uh, d- I have faith in it. I'm just saying. When, <laughs> I have faith in it. <laughs> when, when people, I think it's cute. I've always thought it was cute, but I, I, I've never believed in it myself. Sorry, but, uh, that's not honestly, very passionate. <laughs> I just. No, I, think it's, uh, I think you're bringing up a great argument. Like, I think it's extremely open-minded to you, and it tracks. I think it's cool. Yeah. I think uh, you're being super honest. I like it. And I'll be honest. I'm in a. I'm in a similar boat with you. I never used to be. I'd mm-hmm. say. I'd say about five years ago, I was very because I've always been an atheist, I, mm-hmm. or at least I grew up Catholic, and then I've been an atheist since I was a teenager. Mm-hmm. And I was I had a very not to anyone's face, but I was very like mentally disrespectful to other religions. Mm-hmm. And the older that that I've got the more I'm just like why would I do that I don't have all the fucking answers no like why do I want to pretend that I do and why do I want to shit on like someone else's belief so I'm also very respectful and open-minded yeah even I'll, I'll go as far as to say even like something I've never agreed with um 
is circumcision. Mm -hmm. But for religious reasons, I agree with it. And it's not because I'm religious or, or like anything like that. I just I think that people, when they have something that's sacred to their religion, that should be respected. Yeah, I, I think that, you know, obviously there's like good and bad in every religion. Yeah. Um, But I just I think if people went around shitting on people's religion like they do astrology, it it would be a mayhem and just mm -hmm. a complete shit show and people i just think people let people believe whatever they want to believe if it's not hurting somebody else everyone just like wants to control other people a lot and like force the, their same beliefs on other people a lot mm -hmm. and that is such a pet peeve of mine in which i i always say like i like everyone being different and that's one of the so reasons I. I love when people have different opinions than me because that's what makes the world interesting that's what makes people unique yeah, and then you just, like, we're not supposed to... People have this deluded idea that everyone is supposed to think the way you think or believe what you believe or like and dislike the same things that you do. And it's just so self-centered. Mm -hmm. Like, I, first of all, we're not supposed to know this many people. Whereas, like, human beings are supposed to exist in, like, a small tribal community. Yeah. Tribal community, but it's, like, small, close-knit community groups. I say this all the time, and I, and say, like, that's, I say that's the reason I'm so stressed out 24-7 is mentally I cannot compute all the people that I have to deal with on a daily basis. We're not supposed to. Like, with. we are not genetically <laughs> supposed to. Yeah. Um, and I, I think that people get so frazzled and, like, when, when people have, like, different belief systems to them, whether not even belief systems just like likes or dislikes mm -hmm. just, it, that that's something that really is a pet peeve for me with anyone like a friend partner just like people on the street i'm just like let people believe what they want to believe in man like you know as long as you're not hurting somebody else like forcing your beliefs down other people's throats w what is the harm i don't know like if I think the Earth is round. Someone else wants to believe the Earth is, Earth is flat. <laughs> Go for your life. <laughs> that you know? make, that will like, that truly, will make me laugh, but it, it'll make, it's it'll be, yeah. absolutely it'll make me laugh. But I'm gonna I'm spend, not going to try to tell them no. Yeah, like I'm going to spend absolutely you, zero you. minutes. Yeah, think, trying to convince someone else to have the same point of view as I do. Exactly. At all. Like I don't care. Like w how does that affect my life? If I don't want to date someone who thinks the Earth is flat, that is my choice. Like if just. Let people believe what they don't, want to believe, don't do man. That, Gabby. What? Don't date someone who thinks the earth is flat. <laughs> no, that's, that's what I'm saying. Like, I just, it's like your, it's your choice to, to find oh, your see. people who have the same belief systems as you. Yeah. You know, when people get actually upset that people think differently to them, I'm like, I. It's a pet peeve. Just let it go, dude. You, There's so many other things in the world to worry about. Were you always like that? With what? Just being very open minded. To yeah, everyone else. I think so. I was I was raised Jewish. My dad, you know, my dad's family came from Germany in the Second World War. My mom mm -hmm. was Christian, and she converted when they got married. Mm -hmm. So we would be born Jewish because you follow the religion of your mother that's in Judaism. What, that's what I heard because mm -hmm. my boyfriend's Jewish, and we've had the talks. We've been together for a couple of years, and mm -hmm. obviously, I'm atheist. I don't think that he's a practicing um, Jew, but he does love just the whole culture of it. I love the culture. Yeah, and like, and, same, I, and same with him. Yeah. So like that was kind of the talk. Is that uh, he was like, well, can I raise them Jewish? And I was like, well, yeah if you want to but like and I've, it, I've, it, it wouldn't they be not considered actually that, jewish because yeah. I, i've i've never dated a jewish man like i've never just not not on purpose not whatever just in where i was in australia we were like the only jewish kids besides you know the rabbi's kids um and then just by because i only had like three boyfriends none of them were jewish but i've had that discussion if i ever had have kids i would want to raise them jewish not even with the religious aspect of it because we weren't super practicing a religion growing up it's just the culture that's what behind it like the sense yeah. of family and the com and sense of community yeah. is really really strong and i think that's the most beautiful thing about the religion yeah um that's what my boyfriend wants to do as well but i went to an anglican school and then a presbyterian school and then i was only around you know christian catholic kids growing up um and then I i've just I don't know. I've, I feel like I've, I've been around a lot of different people in my life and the people I respect the most is people who believe what they want to believe and then are very tolerant and respectful of other people's, you know, mm -hmm. whatever what, whatever their beliefs are. Yeah. But um, I never feel the need to like force my religion down other people's throats ever. Yeah. I'm the same way. I wasn't, I wasn't five years ago 
but mm. I've matured a lot. I don't I don't know why. Like it, it's some weird thing. I was a completely different person in my mm-hmm. early twenties. Like I would also just speed everywhere I went. And now I drive like an absolute little grandma because I'm thinking of one, how dangerous dangerous it is for me, but I'm worried about everyone else on the road too. Yeah. I just don't think you've developed. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I still speed everywhere. Bad. Mm-hmm. Bad. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna mother you real quick. <clears throat> <laughs> I think people will pay good money for that. You know, but really, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. You, you you speed. Imagine. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This is Debbie Downer. But imagine if you hit a family. Okay. I have done that before. And they you're were, still speeding. When I was well, when I was like 17, I was drunk driving, and I hit a car, and it hit a car in front of them, and it was a family. Are they, they okay? They were fine. The cops let me go, but I oh like God. it was crazy. Why privilege? Do you know? And, but right you, there. But you still speed. Yeah, I mean, I, why privilege once again? I haven't hit one. Since. Jesus. But can can you imagine if you do? Because you're taking a bigger risk, not with just your life, but with their lives too. Oh, your frontal lobe is fully developed. You have no excuses. <laughs> you're right, Mia. <laughs> you, know, you know, you know, you know, I'm, you know, I know. I keep I'm, I'm a big, I'm a really that. big fan of like, pe- like letting people do whatever they want. If it, if they're endangering themselves, it's like fine. Oh, that's yeah. your life. But when it comes to other people, I'm like, come on. Oh no, absolutely. Okay. <laughs> But you know how I know I'm 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 not 21 anymore is that when I think about things that I used to do mm-hmm. and I think about if my child ever did that mm-hmm. I would ground them from now to 2063 <laughs> like no truly like I was someone sent me a video I was I was in Spain and we climbed this monument I'm not going to say where it is because I don't want other people to do it and one of my guy friends was hanging off the ledge. <laughs> and I have to show you this photo. And at the time, I posted and I was like, this is cool as shit. Someone sent it to me. And I was like, if this is my child, yeah. I would literally fly across the road, grab their asses, fly them back home and ground them such, for the next 20 years. It's such an easy death. But like, didn't you do shit when you were younger? Like, I, I was yeah. never into drugs and alcohol, but I did other dumb shit. Like, I went spearfishing when I was 18 with like my boyfriend, a bunch of his friends. Do you know how stupid it is to get in the water with a bunch of trigger happy 18 year olds who yeah. don't know their fucking index finger from their asshole? Yeah. Who just want to shoot anything with spear guns. Yeah. Like, it's scary. It's so stupid. Yeah. And like, we would do it every weekend. We would just go out the back of the spit on the Gold Coast, jump in the water. They're sharks, by the way. Of course. Um, we didn't even know what we were looking at, what we were shooting. And it would be dangerous for like one person to be in the water. Ro- to be in the water six 18 year olds dumb as hell like if that was my kid i would never let them do that did your parents know about this my parents knew they a little bit they were i was like oh i'm just gonna wait in the boat why you know they all get in the water i was the first one in there it's like also, I, yeah it's also a little bit of just like have like letting your kids live their lives and taking risks but i already know what kind of mother i'd be oh i'd be i i have every intention of instilling like anxiety into my children i just i can't believe like <laughs> i asked me i want them to be afraid of the world so they'll be safe see, like, be i was the opposite if you raise them that way see i was i was my, my parents did a great job of like <laughs> <laughs> but my parents did such a good job like i honestly was never into drugs and alcohol never yeah. into partying i was so much older when i lost my virginity than people would ever believe my mom was like, if you have sex, you will get pregnant and die. Oh, I lost my virginity to an escort marrying a Del Rey. <gasps> Did you really? Yeah. You couldn't get anybody before that? I was too nervous. I like, because I dropped out of college and I went to all boys schools. So I was like, I don't know what I'm doing. I've only seen American Pie. Yeah. I'm just going to go buy someone for like an hour. Like I was never into like drugs and alcohol or partying or boys or anything. But I would do things like, I remember I went to Western Australia off Rottnest Island, which is one of the most shark infested places in the world where you can go to oh that's by where the malaysian airline crashed was it yeah it was like off the coast of western australia okay but there's <laughs> there's a place called there's a, there's, there's a place called seal island right okay. that all the seals that like they're all like lounging on the and island where there's seals there's sharks yes <laughs> that's what the great white sharks hunt seals yeah my dumbass and my friends took a boat out there and we went free diving with a bunch of sea lions and seals. Whoa. We, it, it, the video's on my Instagram. I was like 18. I thought it was amazing. I had like the GoPro. I had like the little Sony like underwater camera. We took 
Okay, by the way, swimming with sea lions and seals is so much fun. Are they sea like lions dogs? are like they're like puppies. Oh. They're like when you twirl, they twirl off you. If you chase them, they like they uh, swim away. If you turn around, like swim back. I want to do that. They yeah. chase you. And because like I grew up a swimmer, like a national and state, you know, Australian swimmer, I was I'm very I was like very fast in the water. So I yeah. would like play with them and we shot the most epic videos ever. And I jumped in and I was, the first thing I thought was like, I was like, oh, it's like way too shallow for sharks to swim in here. It was like the size of this room. Like sharks can definitely swim in there. I was like, if I That's can see the great, bottom. A great white, yeah. And by the way, it's it's the, one of the most <laughs> beautiful places on earth. The water is like crystal clear. You can see like the sand on the bottom. Yeah. It is like the Maldives. The water is perfect. I was like, I'll be able to see a shark. It's fine. I'm good. I shot the video, sent out parents. I was like, this is the coolest thing ever. My mom was like, if you don't get your ass home <laughs> on a flight to Queensland right fucking now. She's like, she was so close to getting on a flight. I have never, my parents have never been madder at me in my entire life, ever. They were like, you are so fucking stupid. They didn't say fucking. They're like, you are so stupid. Yeah. Like, and I look back now and I was like, I must have had the brain cells of like a peanut. Like, I would never, I would never do that now, like, truly. Yeah. And if my kid ever did, I, I would just never do that. Like, I was so stupid. That was the kind of, like, shit that I did when I was younger. Never the partying and the drugs, but, like, dumb shit like that. That's so much fun, though. You, like, lived your life. It's wild. Yeah, until you get, like, eaten by a robot shark. Like, I would run the pass out in the gutter. Then, like, you know, something bad happening here. I always I always say, because I don't get in deep water, I, I get up to my knees, and I love the ocean, but I get up to my knees and I'm looking around for little sharks. To oh, <laughs> like, just, so, like, I, I say it's just, that's I'm not going to go that way. Like, there's going to be a yeah. 0% chance. I'm not going to let it happen. We used to go bull shark <laughs> fishing at night. Like, that was like just, just dumb shit like that, that I'm like, I know I'm older now, because I'm like, I would never do that now. Thank you guys for watching Out of Bed. I am Gabby Epstein and here with me in Malkova. We really appreciate you watching. Um, remember, I am a Pisces sun sign, a Gemini moon, and a five-star YouTube rating ascendant. That's right. Rising sign? Yeah. Like yeah. Just watch our show, man. Just <laughs> <laughs> please. <laughs>